how will the temperature being in freezing temperatures impact that durometer score? Sound good? And then Thawing out, 17 miles, nothing too crazy, but just enough snow to make it very, very, very difficult. I think I called the run on Strava. High knees, high knees, it was beautiful. Little tip of the day, when you gotta face snow or sand, just completely flip the switch from an aerobic exercise to a running form exercise. You just focus on your form, I didn't do it the whole way, but man, when I did, it was like, whew, I am working out here. It was harder today than it was 20 miles at 6.08 a mile, just uh, running through snow. Um, oh yeah, before I forget, we're gonna do an experiment today. Uh, actually, hold on, with these shoes right up here, okay? Right up here, a fresh pair, fresh pair of Rebel V2s. I'll announce the experiment upstairs, but we're gonna, uh, we're going to do a live stream, 2.30 p.m. Mountain Time, Wednesday. Here it is on your screen. Um, also, I'm getting some notifications from people. Actually, i got to stop. Let's go get some coffee. I'll explain upstairs. Oh, oh that feels good. <sighs> Let's go get the shoes. All right, midsoles, durometers. We're up in our game in 2022, all right. What should we choose? What should we choose, everybody? I'm just gonna start grabbing here. Oh man, where to even begin? Oh, hello, definitely you, Nova Blast 2. Definitely you, New Balance Fresh Foam More V3. And let's see here. Ooh, any, any jumping out at you? Any jumping out at you? Uh -huh. Oh man, oh, there's so many, so many great options. Okay, let's just peruse the merchandise. Oh, should we go, mm, nah, let's go, ooh, no, <laughs> hold on. Oh man, so many shoes, so little time. Let's see, uh, mm -hmm. do, do, do. Ooh, Pulsar, hello. Hello, Dolly. Definitely gonna put you there, okay. Let me just think. Mmm. Oh my, this is way too much fun. Way too much fun. We're, we're having too much fun, DGR. I just say, I'm just looking real quick. Eventually we're gonna get these all organized here, but that is not gonna happen today. Um, you know, maybe, let's see. Mmm. Let's go Endorphin Pro 1. Oh, let's go, let's go not, not good. Let's go the Terex Ultra from Adidas. I'll let you know exactly why that shoe did not work out. Oh, there we go. There's an old Rebel. Okay, that'll be good for today. All right, let's go inside. I love you. Don't worry, my love. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm attempting not to put dirty, dirty running shoes on our kitchen, <laughs> and I drop one. I got, I got, a, I got a towel here. All right, we got the Agravix Terex. We got the Max Road Five, the Endorphin Pro One. Whoa, throwback. Uh, Nova Blast Two, Rincon Two, and Fresh Foam More V3 Pulsar. And then a uh, Rebel, a, a, a Rebel that's been worn and tested already, unlike these over here. All right, let's get a quick coffee. So what I was about to say downstairs is that, oh yeah, here we go, is that uh, some people are not getting notifications when we go live on the channel. So make sure 
uh, you click the bell and then you select the notification uh, that you would like for this channel, whether it's when a new vlog publishes, only when I go live, YouTube gives you some options. Still not the best system, I don't think, but uh, Aaron, shout out to Aaron, you know who you are. He's not getting notifications when we go live. So um, again, 2.30 today, and then I'll, it will appear also, I have a, a live stream playlist on the homepage, okay, of the channel. So there it is, you can navigate to that as well in case you're unable to join up live, okay. Oh yeah, true love, just so you know, fresh maple syrup. <laughs> Shout out to Alex, we got it. Thank you, Alex, you're the best. Fresh maple syrup for Saturday morning waffles. Oh yeah. Slate Valley Farms in Granville, New York. You're the best. Okay. Let's dive in everybody. Oh my my. Durometer testing, midsoles. For those that are new and have not been watching in the last week, let's say, what I'm talking about is the hardness scale of the, all these running shoes, all the running shoes I take, all the shoes you see out in the garage. And yes, I will share what we're gonna do with these Rebel V2s here in a second. Um, and it came up in yesterday's live stream, thank you. So we're gonna measure with this Shore A Durometer Tester. All right, I'll call it a tester. It uh, let's just read exactly what a Shore A Durometer does. So Shore A Durometers are for softer materials and range widely enough to cover flexible rubbers or foams all the way up to semi-rigid plastics with almost no flexibility. Uh, so there's a little tip here on the bottom that goes into the foam and then I get a number here on the screen which I will, show, I will put on a title for all of you for all of these shoes, the Nova Blast, the Endorphin uh, Pro. I, you know what, I should have grabbed the Speed, but that's okay, we'll go with the Pro for now. And then over time, what we're gonna do in our running shoe database, our DGR running shoe database, is we, we're gonna have a column dedicated just to the Shore A durometer testing, okay? And uh, you know, you can buy durometer testers that are hundreds and hundreds of dollars, like really expensive ones. This is not a really expensive one, but it's going to do the trick for now. Um, let's dive in. All right, you guys ready for this? So let's start first with, and these have been sitting inside now for about 45 minutes. So I think the temperature has risen enough with the midsoles that we should get an accurate measurement. Also, I guess I'll add in an ideal world, I would cut the shoes in half and I would do this measurement on the inside of the shoe. I can't cut every shoe in half, so we just gotta do our best with what we have here. Uh, let me just make sure, maybe I'll read this real quick as well. This is from my uh, running shoe book. Durometer is a measurement of how firm or soft the foam is. Durometer measures the foam's resistance to surface penetration. Uh, lower numbers indicate softer, more flexible materials, while higher numbers indicate harder materials okay so as we're going through and this is the first time we've ever done this should we start with the shoe that i th and i'm not the only one if you know you know who i'm talking about also gave this shoe a very very bad review uh the adidas agravix terex ultra in the trail shoe scene so let's just see here um so in an i do yeah let's just let's just and i'll put it on the screen there was oh my goodness no wonder so this is their light strike on the bottom here. Now up here, there's another, I think that's the, is that the Pro? Okay, so that's 25, but the light strike, the majority of the midsole here is 55 was the measurement, 55. Remember that number? Let me just do one more test, hold on. Okay, now I'm getting 51. So maybe it's a little lower, 51.5, 51. 51. Actually, let me see if I can hold that and then Okay, now it says 50.5. Can you guys see that there? All right, so remember that number? Okay, so that's why this shoe got a very, I'm beholden to no one. I don't, I, I like Adidas, but I don't like 51.5 for the durometer. Now, let's jump to the, you know what, let's go Pro 2, okay? Here we go, let's just zero this out. Pro 2 from Saucony, 35.5, okay, 34.5. 34.5 for the Socking Indoor from Pro 2. Let's go New Balance Fresh Foam More V3. Okay, I'll zero it out, hold on. Okay, here we go, 37, very interesting. 36.5 is what I, the final, okay, so 36, 
36.5 for the New Balance Fresh Foam More V3. Um, should we go to Rincon? Let's go Rincon. Okay, here we go. Um, and you, you know what? I usually, uh, I don't want the, the vlog to turn into 20 minutes, so I'm just going to do one location. So the Rincon 35, actually 35.5. Okay, so just a little bit softer than the New Balance Fresh Foam More V3. You know what? We're going to save the Nova Blast for one second here. Skechers Max Road 5, huh? Who liked the Skechers Max Road 5? Dad, let us know in the comments from 2021. Now this is interesting because there's some divots here. Um, so I gotta be, I, let you, I might do a couple locations. Okay, so this is saying 39, okay. 30, 41. Okay, let me just do a couple more locations. Okay, hold on. Let's find a flat spot. 38, okay, so right in that 38 yeah, 38. So maybe it's right around 38, 39 for the Max Road 5. Um, okay, we're just moving through here. This is the Kiwana. This is what I ran the 17 miles in today. I only fell once out there, everybody, so that's good. 30, I'm okay. It was, uh, it was not a bad fall, but 35, oh, 36 for the Kiwana from Hoka. A brand new shoe to the Hoka lineup. Okay, now what I'm really interested in is, all right, let's go Pulsar. This is the victory shoe for the Pikes Peak Marathon uh, last year. Okay, the Solomon Pulsar. Okay, here we go. Let's zero this out again just to make sure. Okay, oh my, my. Let's see. 38. Okay, so again, the Agravec Terex Ultra uh, with a 51, let's just call it. 50, I mean, come on. It's like, that's why the shoe just did not work out. Let me just do the Pulsar one more time. Hold on here. 39, 38. Yep, 38. Okay, there you go. Okay, now for the Nova Blast. Okay, let's, oh, this is going to be tough. I see that in an ideal world, I would have a completely flat surface. Let's just start here. See, that's saying 22, but that can't be right. Hold on. No, that's not right. Hold on. This is the Nova Blast 2, by the way, not the Nova Blast 1. Sorry here. I just got to find a... Now it's saying 25. Maybe psh, maybe the Nova Blast 2 is that low, which means it's softer, which, you know, we all love the Nova Blast 2. Part of the reason. Interesting. So, I'll, so I'm, <laughs> I've got the thumb test still going. Hmm. Let me just try here. So I'm getting... If, I don't know. Everywhere I try is about 23 to 26 which is a little surprising. I didn't think it was that. Now that location is saying 28. So maybe, see, this midsole is tough to do. I, again, ideally you're on a, on a flat surface, which is why you would cut it apart. And that's saying 28. All right, so we'll, that one I'll have to work on. Um, now, there you go. I want to give you a little taste. And speaking of taste, hold on. Mm -hmm. So let's do the comment of the day, question of the day, and then this what we're gonna do with True Love's permission, uh, we're gonna stick a Rebel V2 into the freezer overnight, a brand new fresh pair of Rebel V2s into the freezer, one of them, okay? And then we're gonna keep one at room temperature. For everybody in North America especially, it's cold out. So what I'm curious, and this came up in the live stream yesterday, how, uh, how do temperatures impact the durometer score, if at all? I don't know. I'm new to this whole testing as well. So that's what we're going to do today live when you're watching this uh, live. And I will try to link to it after the live stream is done below in the description as well. Um, how will the temperature being in freezing temperatures impact that durometer score? Sound good? And then we could do this again, you know, in the summertime. We'll stick one out in the, in the sun. You know, the heat and the cold and moisture really can break down uh, midsoles quick, quicker. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see for all of you today live at uh, 2 30 p.m. Mountain time. All right, there you have it, everybody. Durometer testing and Eric White, you get the comment of the day about marathon training and long runs. Eric says, I start my training in two weeks for my first marathon coming up at the end of May. Congrats, Eric. That's exciting. My friend who owns the local running store here in central New York and also offers coaching programs. 
uh, sat with me and drew up a custom 16-week program. The long-run strategy we used is a one to two mile increase each week besides the deload weeks, uh, starting at 14 miles and ending with consecutive weeks at 20 miles. He gave me some wiggle room to increase or decrease the long run by a mile or so, depending on how I feel. Eric, I, you get the comment of the day because I love that last, uh, that last sentence about going on how you feel, okay? Uh, it's it's critical. It's just critical. You got to listen to your legs, especially as your volume is increasing. And yes, you need to get hard workouts in. But at the end of the day, if you're overtraining, it's not going to help in the long run. So Eric, you get the comment of the day. And oh yeah, here it is. What is <laughs> what is one thing you think everybody should do once in their lives? Okay. I mean, what's one thing I would say like get to the top of a 14er, if I had to choose one, get to a top of a 14er, but what is one thing that everyone should do once in their life? Maybe run a marathon, maybe, who knows? So that is the question of the day. All right, cheers, and we will toss it to the uh, running shoe. You know what, we'll toss it to the 2021 top running shoes of 2021. All right here, my top three running shoes of 2021. Right there, right there, right there. All right, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.